Hello there. All right, I figured I'd do a video and show you guys what 33s on a T100 looks like, stock height. This rig has no lift on it whatsoever. These are 33, 12, 50, 15, 15 inch wheels, 33 inch tires, 12, five inches wide, and uh, they stick out pretty freaking good. I think it's a 10 inch wheel is why it actually sits out, and they're more of a center line wheel. I'm not exactly sure of the brand of these wheels, but they're they're kind of a classic. You know, I'm sure some of you who know Toyotas have all seen these wheels back when you were a kid, you know, on an old 80s rig or an early 90s rig. And this was the hot setup back in the day before the whole black wheel fad started. Like, I, I'm, I might be a little old, whatever, but I remember when I first started seeing black wheels, I was like, God, did they, they take their hubcaps off, you know? And, of course, eventually the black wheels kind of grew on me, but I still like a good set of chrome wheels. These aren't chrome. These are pretty faded now. And uh, they were a lot worse, but uh, a truck driver, he showed me this stuff called Zippo. It's like a, an acid, per se, and you spray it on wait a minute or two and hose it off and uh, it actually did wonders to these these wheels so i cleaned them up before i threw them on here uh to get them on there i had to do quite a bit of massaging with a split and maul and I rolled that back and uh, actually not enough it still rubs rubs pretty good it rubs like old bill cosby <laughs> you know uh so it needs a little bit more but my plan is to actually find a uh, dana 44 and uh a 10 bolt for the rear end just try to find a roller chevy either blazer or, you know 70s through 80s uh, k k you know 1500 or whatever actually i guess it'd be a k10 yeah either that or a k20 i guess i guess i could go eight lug but the thing is i've got so many sets of toyota six lug wheels and not only that, but if I was going to go 8-lug, I'd like to find Dana 60s, of course. Because, you know, say if I went 44 or whatever with an 8-lug and a corporate 14, that corporate 14 is a big old freaking rear end. And I don't ever think I'd run anything bigger than a 36 on this anyway and I'd just end up hung up on that big old corporate 14. So unless I had a 60 in the front and a 14 in the rear and maybe some 38s I, I don't know i don't know freaking pipe dreams right now but if i found a good deal on a roller chevy blazer or such whatever i'd probably pick it up and start fabbing that front end under there but trying to find a good deal on something on the internet right now is pretty freaking hard everybody thinks their crab's dipped in gold so you can't even find an old junker you know without someone want oh well i that was my stepdad's pickup. I'd like to have twelve hundred dollars for it. It doesn't have a motor or a transmission in it, but uh, yeah, it's a yeah twelve hundred dollars. You know, so I ain't paying twelve hundred bucks for a roller. But it would be nice to get the roller because then I'd get the old leaf springs, preferably with a lift, already on it, and uh, then I'd know where to mock up my mounts and stuff like that. And you know, it'd be sweet to have all the steering components. Even though I might end up buying new stuff, but still just kind of easier to mock up per se. Which these Toyotas, they got a steering box, and I see it all the time, whatever people mounting like uh, the Dana 44 under these T100s. I've seen it quite a few times. So that would be pretty cool. So I'm shopping around. If I find a good deal, that's what'll go on her. Those wheels, they, they look freaking mean on this old girl. She's an old beater. Some of you haven't seen my videos before or whatever. As you can tell, I bobbed the bed, rubbed it up against all kinds of trees, and it's got a Band-Aid there on the dent. She's pretty pretty beat up, but that's what I bought her for. Bought the rig, 2,500 bucks, and uh, and if you've seen some of my videos, you know, it's paid me back in smiles easy. See, I got a, some war wounds up and down her. It's, uh, Interior's pretty decent. It's all roached right now, pretty dirty inside. But a little tree. Yeah, but I got electric windows. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy, fancy. Nice interior. For an old wheeler. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's got, oh, 265,000 miles. But these old three fours are freaking tough. This one here is definitely proven to be pretty death proof. Got my little light bar on her. And uh, the person I bought it from, I guess they slid it 
off the road in a snowbank or something like that. And then they wiped out that fender over there. Maybe this fender. Maybe it was this fender. And then they decided to paint the hood black to match the fender. Like, if you look, it's got the blue underneath. It was a, that's freaking insane to me. It's like, why wouldn't you paint the fender blue to match the rest of the truck? It said just paint the whole front end black. But, oh well. Bought it 2500 bucks. Been a great rig. I've put seven or 8,000 miles, hard miles on it. I've took it up to the dunes and thrashed it around. Been on the beach countless amounts of times and up in the woods, snow. Actually, when I bought it, it was in the middle of a snowstorm. I had to drive back 199 from Grants Pass over here to the coast and it got about six or eight inches deep and she did pretty freaking good. And she was on 31s, just all terrains. Imagine it do pretty, pretty good with these 33s on it. And uh, yeah, I've got the rear end locked up, which actually in the snow I've found, it actually does better open diffs unless you're in super deep stuff and you're locked front and rear and you're just crawling, you're idling along, whatever. Then you can do really good locked front and rear. But if you're just driving in the snow, whatever, it's, it's actually better to have open diffs from my experience because I had a Tacoma with a push button locker. And uh, as soon as I got in the snow, I go pushing the locker in, whatever. And then you come kind of on a, a hill or something like that. It just wants to take your take your butt right down the hill. And that ain't cool. That ain't really cool at all. So, you know, just some of you, if you have lockers and stuff like that, go, go test that theory and see what you think about it. Or if you have been in the snow, tell me what you think about it in these comments. It's pretty cool when you guys comment and stuff. And it's even cooler you guys hitting the subscription. It's awesome. I'm up to five... 20 or something like that subscribers and thank you guys very much that's freaking awesome to me one of these days it might be a big big youtube sensation <laughs> uh guys got a dream huh but until then i'll wake up three o'clock in the morning and go throw logs at trucks and wake up at three o'clock in the morning you know you got to go up there and you got to sneak up on them trees don't want them running away from you but uh, all right well this is my pickup the old t100 well one of them but i love this old girl she's been a dandy and uh, actually, I'll show you guys how it rubs. I'll come out of my trail here. I'm back in the woods at my place. I try to do videos in scenic locations. And what's more scenic than my little creek here? Flowing decently on my bamboo. That little pond. Yeah, I'm kind of making a hole up there, but you didn't see that. <laughs> All right, I'll hop in the old girl and fire her up. See, I got this push to start got to kind of ram her in first gear right now I think my oh yeah oh yeah yeah as you see it, it definitely wants to eat these freaking tires so I got to do something about that but you see going right isn't too bad oh yeah when I go all the way here but once I turn left it goes pretty hard so if you go throw 33s on your rig, probably do a little bit of a lift, I'd imagine, whatever, just to be safe. I, I've got a little sp spacer lift, whatever, the ball joint spacer lift that I I might throw on here if I decide to actually fix up this independent front end. Because I, like I said, I drive a lot on the beach and it'd be sweet to go back up to the dunes with it again. And the dunes in a straight axle... Unless, of course, you're coiled over and you got link and coils. And without me, I'm not. <laughs> it's a little above my pay grade, I guess. Whatever. One of these days, one of these days, I'll, you know, be able to buy some fancy rig, whatever, with all this sweet suspension and all that. But until then, I'm bomb an old $2,500 T100 and have a smile just as big as the guy in his $50,000. Yeah. Maybe not quite as big. I mean, because. You know, some of them V8 turbo, yeah, those guys are pretty big smiles. But the mine's, mine's prettier. So, all right, I figured I'd snap out a video for you guys, kind of show you what you, to expect if you decide to stuff 33s under your T100. Which, if you don't have a T100, I highly advise you go get one. It's the freaking toughest rig on earth. But, uh, well, not earth. Well, toughest older rig for kind of you know pretty much just all-purpose rig i mean this thing has plenty of room in it i'm six six and as you can see whatever i i get in i fit in pretty decently and uh you know i love toyotas i've had freaking numerous toyotas whatever but these t100s 
are are just awesome because of the room in them. And I've had a Tundra before too, and it, it had pretty, it had really good room. But I I don't like the rack and pinion s steering, and I don't like the freaking suspension on them. Whatever, I don't like the freaking struts, struts setup, and ball joints and all that. It's just a weak spot. So I'm pretty partial to these old T100. Sure, it'd be nice if it had a freaking 2UZ stuffed in it, whatever, which uh, would be kind of cool, but, like, that's a little above my, my pay grade, but, uh, awesome, thank you guys for subscribing, and, uh, if you aren't subscribed, maybe hit that button, you know, before you hit that button, go check out some other videos, you know, because I, you know, I don't want to disappoint you, say, yeah, I want you to know what you're going to get yourself into, so check out some of my other videos, you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, if not, whatever, say you got a buddy with a T100, send him this video. But, uh, most of all, just stay awesome to each other, you know? Just freaking all around, just be good people. You guys are awesome. Stay beautiful.